you guys doing, huh? How you guys doing? Uh, you guys just sit down. Uh, uh, come sit down. Uh. So today I got Denali. I got his grandmother Torah and his great grandpa Dakota. We're up here on the rim trail here today. Now we're doing a number of things today because uh, we're skill building a course with Denali. But certain parts of this trail are really treacherous. They're uh, steep cliffs, sharp drops off the edge, like way, way down. And uh, so I am using uh, off leash and leash on Denali today. Uh, on them really treacherous spots where we got a snake through a little goat trail along the cliff, I put him on a lead just. Uh, just to, for my peace of mind, he, he doesn't need it, but uh, um, I would hate to see him uh, want to venture down and then lose his footing in some shale or something. He's very, very agile, very stable, but at the same time, he's only a couple of weeks from going down to Julie, so I don't need to be chasing him down that hill. Besides, I got a heck of a time climbing up out of there. The other day I had uh, his brother Loki out on a different trail. This I call this the rim trail, but uh, the other one was uh, an off sh offshoot of the old mining road and did the same thing. I stepped out there to look down. I wanted to see what was in this clear cut down there. And all of us went out there and sure enough, boom, down they go. So I had to go get them. So I didn't need that workout today. But. Uh, this is kind of a very, very cool day for me because roughly oh, five years ago, less a month, so in another month, five years ago, Tora, the grandmother of Denali, sitting right there, she had a litter in the yard. The yard is right down, about two miles straight down. and. Uh, it's right below us. Anyway, uh, she had litter down there, and I uh, kept uh, a little female called Kai, and that's Denali's mother. And uh, that was five years ago. Now, last night, the uh, sister to Kai, Tika, another daughter of, uh, it was full sibling sister to Kai, so daughter of Tora, of course, Tora and Bram. So Tika, magnificent female, just this beautiful female. We had been watching Tika all the way along, thinking, well, when the timing was right, we were going to take a litter out of her. She's just a stunning female. So she ended up having seven males and one female. So she's got eight pups. And uh, just this awesome group of pups. So more little Denali's uh, just sitting there. They're only a day old. So I, I haven't even told all the folks yet. I'll uh, tell them right after this what want to get down. And uh, But I said, well, I'll talk about that. Now this is an extremely good line. They're very, they're very skilled in this terrain. And so uh, don't ever kid yourself. I don't have to uh, put a leash on to keep his footing good, but just at the same time, he's just about home and we're doing some really, really rugged work. So. That's the only reason. Plus, they want to be able to do a little bit on the leash. Now, I've had all the boys on leash work, all of them, and the girls, and they're all getting really skilled. They're very, very sharp, but uh, they're, uh, they will need a little bit more work, but that's okay. But Denali, he's such a fantastic dog. This, this personality, you see, is a trait out of this line. Comes down through Dakota and Torah, and it's this ability to hang by the handler. Look at this guy. Uh, just an absolutely phenomenal uh, genetic set this dog has. Now this is a pretty boy leaf son. Pretty boy leaf's a really good dog. Don't ever kid yourself. Uh, it's uh, not all Kai. Kai is world class, but uh, leaf, there's nothing wrong with leaf boy. He's world class. 
And so, uh, you, Dakota, you stay by me here, right in the shade. We'll just, we'll turn back, buddy. And so, uh, these are really, really good dogs. Now, pretty boy leaves the father of Tika's litter, too. So, the exact same quality of dog. These are the best dogs in North America, right here. This, this guy right here. Uh, these are exceptional. Many years ago, I, uh, over a dozen, one of my family got a hold of me, said uh, I had lost my mail, and he passed on, and uh, I was looking for a new one, and my family got a hold of me, and said, you know the old boy up north there with them old dogs, he's having one last litter, and we had heard that, you know, he's he's planning his uh, last litter out, and I said, oh, is that a fact, eh? So I got a hold of him, and I asked him, I said, you're planning one more litter, eh? And he said, yeah, it'll be the last one. And I said, well, then I'll, I want the mail. Dakota, Tora, Denali, buy me. So I told him, I said, well, I want to get a mail from you then. He can run my program. And he said, oh, for sure, that's the best line. Now, he had... His family has raised him in the old country for years, and he he had been raising them for a long time, and he had the old dogs out of Sweden, and uh, they were the bear dogs. Now, in a certain region of Sweden, of course, the bear density per square mile is the highest of anywhere in the world, and those dogs are highly skilled at working with bear, and uh, that's why Dakota is such a rock star, him and Tora. They're so good with bears, so calm, so easy going, so nice to work with uh, in this region. We have a lot of bear. Denali, he just like just like them. Stay by me, Tara, Dakota. Stay in the shade here. Keep Denali here for the video. Right by me. But you guys stay right by me in the video here. They would like to get back cooler. It's deeper forest back there, so we won't stay long. But anyway, I went up and saw that old boy, and sure enough, this guy was uh, was eating on a beaver. His old dad had just drug home a beaver, and he was standing right on top of it, and the crows were trying to get at this beaver, and he was chasing them off. He hates crows. He hates them to this day. And he was the only guy left uh, guarding that beaver. Everybody else had went in the straw pile. He had 13 siblings, 12 siblings, like there was 13 in the litter. And Dakota was guarding that beaver, and I thought, oh my goodness. Little tiny guy, just a midget little guy. He was just young yet, only six weeks old, snarling at them. And I thought, holy oh, cow. Yeah, and his mama was nursing, and his dad was a big boy. Big, huge fella. Way thicker and heavier. Big rascal. So I had stepped in the pen, and uh, it's just a straw pen out in the middle of the yard in the snowbank. It was a couple days before Christmas, and uh, I said, geez, I hope that old boy of yours is friendly. I hadn't seen him yet, and he said, well, he's hunting down by the, down by the swamp, by the creek there, and he'll be back. Sure enough, here he comes. He sees me, too. He hairs up, and he comes flying up, and he... <laughs> he put his paws up on those bales and looked me right in the eyeballs. Holy cow. I didn't move, I tell you. He sniffed me all up and down. He jumped in, checked me all out. I was in with the pups, of course. The old, uh, the old Swede, he didn't say a word, right? He, uh, he, uh, he, he was kind of funny. He said, uh, after I said, oh, I guess... Uh, I guess I survived. He said, yeah. He said, I wouldn't have given you a pup if you didn't. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. So yeah, we got a really good dog. Dakota, you stay by me. So yeah, this is a good, good line. Very ancient line. One of the old, old lines. We knew that line was there. And uh, my dad always knew about it, and he said, you go get one of them dogs. He said, I don't think anybody else is going to have any left. And he says, if you want to keep that old line going, you go get it. And so this is one of the old, oldest lines in, in North America, one of the very first lines, the very best lines, too. I'm the only guy with it left. None of the other dogs went into breeding, which is the last one. He's 12, coming up 12, a couple months from now. And uh, just this rock star. 
So them little guys that are in the kennel uh, just been born there with Tika. They're uh, fourth generation dogs for Dakota and very, very good dogs. These are, these are far superior dogs for this kind of work, for this kind of hiking, this kind of terrain. They're so skilled around the handlers, so obedient, so focused. And uh, just a just a beautiful dog to work with, and they protect everything, boy, with their life. I tell you, they're really, really good. Look at the attention to the handler. Can you believe it? I mean, oh my goodness, little Denali here. He's just this beautiful fella. The old boys in the old country, they knew that if you're hiking remote terrain, where if your dog got away from you, it would be gone for life. And they knew they had to keep the lines that didn't wander, that didn't bugger off, that stuck to the handler. And uh, they can hunt, they can find game, they can hold game, but they always know where you are. And they will always come back to you. And they're very geographically aware. And uh, Kai is exceptional that way. The daughter of Tora is exceptional. Tika, same thing. They're aware of their surroundings. They're aware of where they are and where you are. And they can get, you know, a long ways from me and still know where I am. Lots of times we're hiking and I don't know where they are. But they always know where I am. You stay right here by me. Now, they love this area because all the updrafts come here and it comes up these ridges. And so they like hiking along this rim trail. This is a pretty good trail for us. Lots of shade in most of it. We have some sun, but it's, uh, it's a great trail. Now we normally don't hike the trails, but in the summer we do. And I like these trails because uh, they uh, are flat, somewhat flat for us. They're overgrown and rocks have all fallen on them and stuff, but uh, they're still pretty good. And it's a nice spot for us, and it's cooler. There's shade and places for us to rest. We'll come to water back there. But as, a, as an outdoor recreation dog, this is uh, the very best in the world, these guys. There are no dogs bred for this work other than this dog. Um, there's, other, uh, there's other dogs that are good in outdoor activities, but none bred for this. And this line is close to 4,000, 5,000 years old, and it's always been bred for the same thing, to work with the handler and remote terrain. Exceptional that way. Look at this dog, would you? That is, is that amazing or what? Show me any other breed of pup that is not just a total scatterbrain at this age. This is just a beautiful rock star, just agile, focused, so skilled, and so aware of what he's supposed to be doing. This is amazing. Yeah, and all his brothers, all his sisters, all the pups we have, they're like this. If you've ever seen Mon, you'll see this dog bigger. Like Mon is just exactly like this. There's nothing like this. It's just amazing. We're in the middle of freaking no man's land, out in the middle of nowhere, and he's just focused. He could go anywhere he wants. But does he? No. Just right here. What a good boy. What a good boy to know. What a good boy. Yeah, world-class dog. My goodness, world-class dog. So yeah, we got uh, we got some fun times. I got more pups to train coming up. This guy's on my Desna training program, so he stays with me for 16 weeks. He's only got a couple weeks left. He's a rock star right now, fully trained now. But two more weeks, wow, he'd be good. But we'll do a little bit of uh, leash work this last couple weeks. Get him highly skilled on that. He's not going to be uh, as good as he will be, but he'll be pretty fair. Tora, go up by me. Don't take off yet. We're just about done. You know what? Right here. What a good boy. What a good boy. Tora. Come on, Tora. Come on, Tora. Way to go, Tora. Tora is just... Halfway through her ninth year, quarter's a couple months shy of 12. Dakota, he make a lot of two-year-old dogs look useless. 
Wouldn't you, buddy? You good old boy. Good genetics, these guys got. Stamina to beat all. But this, this nature, that's genetic. Wow, that's just so perfect. This is so perfect. When you're hiking remote terrain, you want to be able to sit down and have your lunch and know where your dog is. That's, that's it. Yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, we'll keep getting him skilled up. Julie Brown, uh, she's down in the U.S. in Washington State there. Oh my God, she's got a lovely guy coming. He's a total rock star, that boy. And not just because he's getting rocks today. Hey, buddy. <laughs> You're on the rib trail, mister. You're the rib trail rock star. That's what you are. What a good boy. Let's do it, buddy. Good job.